Hi, in this tutorial we will learn about the Slice tool. The Slice tool which helps the UX designers, the mobile app designers, the website designers to develop websites in Photoshop. So let's learn. Basically the Slice tool is placed just beneath the Crop tool and to move on to the Slice tool we have to press Shift and C in the keyboard. When we use the slice tool and drag a portion in our website, it basically draws out small rectangular or square slices. These slices are known as the user slices. Now these images can be, can be directly, directly exported for the UX designing. With the UX designing, I mean the user interface designing. What and how will be the look and feel of your design. Maybe it can be a mobile app, can be a website. So, and it's basically used for coding in different softwares because you have the correct pixels and the portion of their sizes. We can also have layer based slices which we can click and drag and we can save these slices for the web. So let's go ahead and learn more about the slice tool while you work in Photoshop. The Slice tool in Photoshop is a tool that the UX designers, the mobile app designers, the web designers are using. So basically they're creating slices out of their image and then further they're going to code it. Now this is my sample homepage of tutorialspoint.com and if I was a web designer, I'm going to use my Slice tool. I'm going to go here. My Slice tool is just under my Crop tool and I'm going to create slices. So if I want to look at this button I can create a slice tool and the rest of my document will be divided into further slice tools. I can go ahead and create these slice tools you know just go ahead and create more slices and again I can click on any slides and I'm going to save it with the name. So you know I can give it any name so this is my button or maybe my home button or a particular button I'm talking about and I can give it a URL so I'm going to write home button and I am going to give it a URL okay. So I'm going to name my tags and further I can also change the size if you look at it I can change go ahead and change the size of my slice and now for say I have a slice of this tag that I just created and I'm going to go to so this is my selected slice and I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to export and say save for web. So it's going to show me the couple of slices that we have and we can go ahead and select the slices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do maybe, you know, I'm going to fit in view and I'm going to see my slice and I can decide. So this is the one that's my selected slide. So this is my the Google Maps slide and I can go ahead and select anywhere and click and make it. But I'm going to go with this. That this is my slice that's been selected and the other will be a little shady. I can also click shift and you know keep clicking but that's not my idea right now what I want is that I want this select a slice, a slice I'm gonna go ahead and hit save so and it's gonna ask me that you know okay the name is maybe I'm gonna give it a name and I'm gonna say so these are my various options you know I can just say I need the HTML only the HTML and images or image only let me just go with the HTML and I'm gonna say the selected slices and this is my okay my selected slices and I'm gonna say save and when I go here on my desktop I will see that this is my earlier saved code but you will see that with what I did I have a code on my desktop which is this code which has a code for that particular slice so you can go ahead and generate your own HTML through slices so that's how you know how useful slices are when you're coming to web designing so for this tutorial, that's it for Slice Tool and I hope you understand the basic functionality of the Slice Tool. Please continue watching tutorialspoint.com and go ahead and see our other videos on the same. Thank you.